Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at and showing you how to install these glacier chain cable snow tire chains on our 2022 Ram 1500. These are a great light duty chain, so if you only need something for a little bit of snow to get you that extra traction, this will be a solid option. Install's pretty straightforward. We got it laid out right now just to make sure that nothing's twisted up or tangled. Typically these cable chains aren't too bad compared to a traditional chain style chain. Those tend to get tangled up a lot easier. And to make sure we have got the correct orientation, we have a yellow flag on each one that'll say, say LH or RH. Left hand is going to be our driver's side here with an arrow pointing towards the direction of tire rotation. So it's pretty easy to see which side you've got. Now with this all set up, we're just gonna drape it over the tire, grabbing it in the middle and setting it over the top. You'll make sure it's relatively even side to side. Right there is looking pretty good. And we can make our first connection around the back. Now on the side closest to me, we're going to have a catch plate right there. And then on the side closest to you, we'll have a series of studs. Basically, you want to feed those studs through the catch plate. And you want to do this probably in your driveway or garage once or twice to get a feel for it and see which stud you need to go to to get the correct fitment on your tire. I'm gonna start right about there, going close to the end, and hooking the excess onto these red hooks that are included on the cable. There we go. And we'll go around front to the next connection. Now around front here, it's definitely looking like it's a bit tight. So I need to loosen that side up on the back real quick. This is why we do it in the driveway or the garage to test that out and make sure we have the right fitment and reduce this back and forth when you're actually in those tougher conditions. So I'm gonna loosen this up quite a bit, probably only go onto the second or third stud, rehook it, and then go ahead and come to the front, feeding the studded link through the catch plate here. Right, like that. It's still a bit tight. Right there is looking pretty good. And you can fold this arm back to pull the tension out. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe get one more stud through the catch plate here. Just like that's looking good. And now when I fold this arm back, it's feeling a lot more sturdy. I can hook it onto the cable on this side to hold it in place. And overall, it's looking okay. Not the tightest thing in the world, but that's okay. That's why we recommend using a rubber tensioner. These aren't included with the kit, but you can find them in the related parts section on the page. Just scroll on down, they'll be right there. You wanna install these in a star-shaped pattern relatively evenly across all sides. And you can see already just how much tension that's pulling out of the cable. It's gonna help ensure that these stay snug on the tire and give us good traction. Right about there is looking pretty good. At this point, you wanna install the other side and drive forward a few times. And come out and check on them. As you start to drive, things will settle in and potentially loosen you wanna make sure that you make any adjustments you need to after you've done that, and then you're ready to hit the road. Now these are a cable style chain, and like we mentioned, they're not the most aggressive thing out there. And you can really see that once it's on the tire, how low clearance it is. These cable chains are great for smaller vehicles or on your truck too, if you're in a very light duty situation. If you do need something a bit more aggressive, there's plenty of other options out there. There's twist link chains, square link chains, and a V-bar style chain. Those are in ascending order, more and more aggressive, better for ice, this will be better for light snow. The rollers over top the cables here are gonna give a little bit more height, and they're gonna be a low carbon steel construction. That low carbon steel is a softer metal and might not hold up as well over a long period of time, so just be mindful of that when you are picking them up. And as far as the bag they come with, it's not my favorite thing in the world. It's definitely more durable in terms of material than the canvas bags a lot of truck chains come in. 
But the problem here is it's really hard to get these cable chains rolled back up into this small shape. It comes in a pair, so it's hard to get them both back in here. For me, it's more hassle than it's worth. I just pick up a plastic tote or something to keep them in. It's gonna be more durable and water resistant anyway, and it's just easier to use. But if you're looking for something that's either just something to keep in the car to make sure you're road legal in certain states, or something to help get you out of a tough spot if it's just light snow, this will be a good option. If you need something more aggressive, check out the options I mentioned earlier. Otherwise, that'll do it for our look and installation of these Glacier Chain Cable Stow Tire Chains. Thanks for watching.